Good evening. It is about half five, quarter to six here in Malawi, and this is an update of what we've been doing. So we've done the we've done the safari. That was pretty special. And from the safari, we went to a place called Namwera, which is where we are now, and we're helping to build a remote translation mm. office. So let's show you what we've been doing. And it's very remote. It's, it's like <laughs> very remote in the middle of nowhere, which is why we're camping out. Yeah, yeah we'll show you the tents. In, <laughs> we'll show you the tents in a minute. Yeah. Right. So let's have a look at what Rob's been doing. So, what I've been doing, I have been with the electricians the last couple of days and uh, their main job at the moment is in each of the rooms as you work your way along the residential building is to fit all the pipe work where the cables are going to go and all the sockets. So a brother in front of me goes along, puts all the markings in place, draws all the lines. The next brother comes along with a circular saw, gouges out the markings. And then I come along with a jackhammer mm. and basically chisel out what's there. So this is what the end product for me is. I gouge out the line that comes down and a chip goes in there and then the socket goes in here. It's hard to get it perfect because uh, the Malawi brick is very, very soft. So it tends to kind of judder as you come down and breaks apart. But this is what it will look like when it's done. So you can see the plug sockets go in, Ta -da. and the brother comes along and plasters it in place, and then a cable or a tube will run up, um, and they'll be able to feed all the electrical wires down there. Mm -hmm. So I think we've done really well because in the two days we've done about six rooms like this, mm -hmm. and it's been really hot. Oh, it's been it's absolutely very, very physical work. And Even with a fair amount of cloud cover, it's and been as bad. You can see, it's a very, very dirty job because the brick goes everywhere and the dust is everywhere and um, so yeah, mm. but it's good fun and the brothers are great to work with. Yeah. While, yeah. while we're in the room we'll give you a quick tour of it. This is very, very simple really. This is kind of a, a living area. There, will, there won't be a kitchen in here, I don't, I don't think so. Think. It the place no, it's, it's very much like Bethel accommodation mm. here so you've got kind of just a living area and you've got the bathroom in here. Now they are just beginning to build the, the shower block in this one but we can show you one that they've actually finished and they've got the toilet over in this corner but we'll, we'll show you one quickly because I've been helping out with that a little bit but I'll show you some of the things that I've done. Oh, I don't know where there is one actually. We'll check down here. Oh, pretty sunset tonight. And I think it's worth saying whilst we're on our way to this thing, the work that goes on here is ridiculous. Like we were just saying, morning worships at quarter past mm. six in the morning. Um, the morning worships half an hour, finishes at quarter to seven, work begins at seven, but doesn't finish again until 12, so they do five solid hours of work. There's no tea breaks here. And it just gets um, hotter and hotter yeah. and hotter. And then when they do stop for lunch, they only have half an hour, so it's 12 to half 12, and then they're straight back to work, and they're finished for quarter past four. So it's just short of a nine hour yeah. working day. It, it's amazing we don't all have indigestion. And the just sweltering heat. So and then just go for it. Quite remarkable to watch the brothers work. We, we've done it, but like personally, I'm done. Like I don't know if <laughs> I, I could do much more. No, I'm, I'm we've completely done two out days. of it. Yeah. Um, so quite remarkable. You know? yeah. So this is kind of part of a finished one. I don't think there's any fully finished ones. So you, you put the concrete block, which is what I've been doing, and then you build up with bricks around it. So that's super interesting. However, this is a bit more interesting. You can see at the end up here, there's kind of a steel bit going out. But what that is is a ring beam. And the kind of Malawian law is that all buildings have got to have them. So we've gone from here, I'll kind of show you, all the way down to the end of the corridor and back putting up this this ring beam today. But we can show you some of the other other bits from outside. What else is there? Just here, I guess we're still really exploring because we've only been here for a, a couple of days. This is the, the boundary wall so that they've been building at the moment. And just over the hill, I don't know if you can see it, they're, they're carrying on with that. But yeah, so I've been working outside today. I've been having to, to pass buckets up to, to brothers, fill, well, put buckets of concrete and then pass them up to the brothers. So there's been a kind of a skip dump here 
that would come along and a brother would shovel uh, cement or concrete into into buckets to be passed down to here and then we'll try and get out of the, the sun a bit it would be I'd have to pass it up to a brother who was standing on the level up here and buckets were about 10 or 15 kilos and I was doing that all day and it was an absolute nightmare so you can kind of see a bit of the progress that we've done with it but they've still got all the rest of that to do now up here I don't really know what there is up here we'll... so Oops. this is going to be the actual translation of it that's the point we'll go up and, so and see it it's actually quite small uh, and it's interesting to know that this is for not the Chichewa which is the main language in Malawi but it's for a very, very small language in Malawi. So there's three translation offices it's in Malawi. Chiao, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so this is quite special that it's for such a small group. And it's interesting where we are. We're only about, I don't think, even 10 miles from Mozambique here. So it's extremely very far out in Malawi terms. Um, but the brothers are going to great lengths mm. to make yeah. sure there's literature available in that language. Yeah, there's only a few thousand... Um, speakers of of Chiao that was their native language in Malawi. A lot of people that that do speak Chiao learn Chichewa as well because it's just so remote. So there's a lot of brothers that have perhaps grown up here but then they've moved to Blantyre and they all speak Chichewa. But they said how it's not the kind of the language of their heart really and and how reading anything in, in Chiao just really really kind of really hits it home with them. Mm. So yeah. yeah. So this is the yeah this is this is what the office is gonna be. So it's a little bit smaller than the the resident block mm. but yeah it'll it'll definitely do the job and i think whatever happens whoever ends up here when they stay here one thing's for sure this is an amazing spot to work in yeah that's and a fair point an amazing spot for these brothers to work in. that's the that's yeah. the view in the background the mountains that's the view we've had all the mountains the last of days. yeah it's pretty, pretty special so what's one, sorry one other thing that happens <laughs> today it's quite good was we had a truck delivery from the branch in La Longley and they brought something that's very familiar to us, which is quite good. So we'll show you what it is before we use it. Now we say it's very familiar to us, but it'll be very familiar to anybody who's worked with insulation at Livingston, at the Livingston Assembly Hall, yeah. So we were pretty thrilled when we saw this. I thought that was pretty cool. Tracy, if you're watching, you'll love it. Yeah, this is really for the Macintosh yeah. to be honest. And that is Coma. <gasps> oh, yeah. The... Should we go and say hello? No. Oh. I'm still a bit scared. Right, he's scared. Let's he's go and say hello quickly. Friendly, he is. He's got a bark like anything on him, but we'll go and say hello anyways. Hello. He's gorgeous. He's one of two. Aren't you? Oh, he's gorgeous. He's just gorgeous. So these guys, their w main work is during the night. So they're, they're working during the night. <laughs> Robert's petrified. And, and, and they really just... They've they got two German Shepherds. They've got three brothers who work 24 hours to keep the site secure, which is mm. pretty mental for us. But that's fairly standard procedure. Yeah, security in, in Malawi is a bit more of an issue than it is yeah. back home anyways. Um, we'll show you the Armaflex in a minute, well, just because we're up here. This is, this is just some of the raw materials. So they've got kind of different qualities of sand. But they had brothers working here for six months sifting through all of that sand. And, and it, they've used a lot of it, obviously, in the in the concrete and in the cement but they had that big sifter there and they were working for six months during the hottest months as well mm. in Malawi just sifting yeah. this sifting the sand it was absolutely relentless um, now some of the girls have been sorting out these bricks because they're not all uniform in size they're all a bit kind of a bit misshaped so they're, they're sifting out the good ones and the bad ones and they're, they're using them accordingly I was working over here yesterday this was my home I was working on with a brother called Tenson who's a lovely brother and and yeah we were just loading up we were just loading up the the mixer for one of the uh, for one of the floors over there it's under the, the orange tarpaulin you won't be able to see it because it's 
covered, but that's what we were doing anyways yesterday. Our tents are over there. Hmm. Beautiful accommodation. Oh yeah, we can say about that actually. Um, these two blocks here actually house... Um, mm. Was it five? The yeah, the internet. Yeah, they've got five... Um, married couples and two single brothers that are either serving as international volunteers or international servants mm. here at the at the build so they get fed here and it's pretty much yeah. a, it's a Bethel routine and got there is more but they morning. live further in the, the village the actual mm -hmm. village of them where it's further yeah. down and some of the brothers live there mm -hmm. it's quite international because there's brothers from oh there he's going uh, <laughs> there he is he's on point calm down calm down um, <laughs> Yeah, the last, a lot of the brothers are from Australia, but there's a couple of others. There's a brother from um, London, there's a brother from Finland, both um, from Japan, yeah, South Japan. Korea. Yeah, it's a real mixture. It's a really nice atmosphere oh, here, I have to say. And it's hard for those brothers because they very, like, I get the impression they don't leave the compound much. No. Um, the, I think even ministry wise, it's hard because they're so busy. With yeah, the they get Saturday for three hours, mm. and pretty much everybody here. Is a, is a pioneer whenever they're not they're not on construction. Mm, the so local brothers, yeah. So it's difficult for them. Yeah, they get locked in in the evening just purely for security. Um, this building in the in the background here is actually the Nangwera Kingdom Hall, mm. but they've just completely taken it over. And there is a a Kingdom Hall further down that they're using as a temporary one. However, they don't know really what they're going to do with it. So they've got like um, they've got the, the kind of the tables for family worship. They've got a kitchen in the background, and they've got a few other bits as well. But let's go and show you the mm. the armor flex. This is the exciting bit. Yes, it's been amazing, amazing to see here. Yeah, really, he's a good dog, I tell you. Funny how he knows to be friendly to us. And yeah. Scared at his end with everybody else. Yeah, he's he's all playful and then as soon as he's as soon as he's on the job he knows what he's doing. So, here we go. Ta da There is the armor flex. Now what what dimension is I wanna know because we're all all messing about mm. with it. We've got the template there. Honestly, this will be so boring to anybody who hasn't who hasn't done insulation, but it will bring back good memories for everybody else. Oh, we're actually looking oh. at the measurements here. Nineteen. Oh, we've got the nineteens. Twenty-two. Nineteens, twenties, and twenty-twos. Nice. It's a shame we won't get a chance to do any insulating. Yeah. I don't think they're quite ready for it. No. Um, it's but more, you know, it's more you know, an job, isn't it? Maybe we'll ask yeah. if we can come back when they're insulating. <laughs> and bring the insulating. De definitely. Us. Yeah. Who knows? I tell you what. While we're here, let's show them a long drop. Oh yeah, this is interesting. Thankfully, we don't have to use them very often. No, but I have had to use them while we've been here oh. at the assembly hall. So if you haven't guessed by now what a long drop is, it is a toilet, right? But not a, a conventional armature shanks. That's it in there. Absolutely wonderful. So basically, it's a big old hole in the ground with this cover here. Pull the cover back, and you do whatever. And that's it. There's, there's Dad. I tried the one in the assembly hall, but not this one. What do you think of the What do you think of the toilets? I quite like them actually. No, there's no there's no flushing mechanism either, and they don't have to empty them. It kind of just all goes into the, the and ground. you get target practice. And you get target practice, especially. All for the price of one. It's a bit point. It's a bit worrying how much kind of water there is about so obviously there's some brothers that are pretty rubbish at aiming but that's it yeah. <laughs> oh right okay that's it that makes a bit more sense okay. right i think that's yeah, I think it that's from us